So with the prelude number three, I suggested that composer being considered the dictator reflects the white patriarchy in our Western high art tradition and aesthetic. I will now move on to Beethoven and his very famous piece that would be the equivalent of Bach's three preludes that we've heard in that this is also a piece that largely consists of arpeggiated harmonic progression. Beethoven is an interesting figure when we are thinking about um, white patriarchy that led us to where we are today. Uh, because in a way, he is the macho uh, of the Western classical music. He was very, he asserted himself to be a very autonomous artist. Um, free from the control of his patrons and things like this. Um, he is said to have masculinized piano playing and music in general. Um, and, you know, the way he looked even, you know, the way he sort of growled, he didn't care about the way he looked, you know, um, his portraits are never smiling. <laughs> But, on the other hand, he was um, hearing impaired and he also struggled with class issues and personal relationships, partially because of his being hearing impaired. Um, he wanted to get married, he wanted to have children, and he was unable to because of these things, social status and such. And, and we know all about that because he's very well documented and he's also very um, open in his letter writings and things like this. Like the immortal beloved, right? The famous immortal beloved that he writes letters to. So yeah, he is a more humanized composer than, for example, Bach. Um, when we think of Beethoven. And so when we listen to a piece like Moonlight Sonata, as opposed to the prelude, which seems sort of transcendent of all human concerns, Moonlight Sonata seems to reflect a lot of human feelings that we imagine Beethoven to must have been feeling with his difficulties in his life and we project our own struggles onto that and so it's a very different way of appreciating music and interpreting it but in fact in terms of the harmonic progression and the fact that it is an arpeggiated simple harmonic progression relatively simple harmonic progression it is essentially the same as the difference is that Bach was less um, instructive on how the piece was to be interpreted or to be played. He left a lot of freedom to the player and as a result to the listener, whereas Beethoven dictates which note is to be held, to be emphasized, which part is to be louder, which, la which part is to be softer. Um, there are some sudden, um, like for example, you can build something up and then drop to very, very quiet um, according to his indication, uh, things like this. So working within what he's dictated, um, one still has a lot of freedom in terms of things like timing, voicing that we talked about, um, what to highlight, what not to. So here's my interpretation of Beethoven's so-called Moonlight Sonata. The Moonlight Sonata, the title, is not his own. But we like to refer to it, and I wonder why.
think about that as well as you creatively and imaginatively listen to this. Thank you. 